Now, let's say you want to make some changes to your website. Maybe you want to install a new plugin or add some features. Now, clearly, you don't want to do that on your live website because if your website was to break or anything was to happen, well, clearly your visitors will be wondering what's going on. So what's the solution here? Well, it's very simple. You can create a staging website. So let me show you. Okay, guys, so let's pretend this is your website here and you want to add an additional plugin, maybe something new altogether. Maybe you want to add a booking system directly onto your website, but you're not too sure how these features work. You want to run a few tests and make sure that everything is running smoothly. So normally you would go to your WordPress dashboard, you go to plugins and install the new plugin and then you can run tests. But obviously you don't want to do that on your live website because if anything was to happen, well, you'll be in trouble. So what do we do then? Well, basically you go to your hosting account and then once logged in, select your hosting and then click manage. And there we have it, mrweb.fun. So this is basically the test website we're going to use today just to show you how you can use that feature. Now you go to WordPress here and then right here on top, as you can see, you have staging. So click on that and now create a staging environment. So click on this. And now you need to give it a name. So let's call it test. Okay, so test.mrweb.funds and then create. And now it's going to create the staging environment for us. So there you go. So that's going to take up to 15 minutes to complete. So I'm just going to close this here and then I'll meet you guys again once it's completed. And there you go, guys. That's all done already. So this is our staging name. So test.mrweb.fun and we can manage our website now. So all you have to do is click on this. There you go. And now we can edit basically. Okay. So click on edit and it's going to bring us to the WordPress dashboard now. So let's have a quick look in the front end. So visit site open in a new tab. And there it is. As you can see, that's the exact same website as our live website, obviously, because this is just a copy of the actual website. Now we can go back to our WordPress dashboard and do whatever we want. So if you want to install a new plugin and run a test, you can simply do so. But just for the sake of our tutorial here, I'm just going to edit the front page. OK, I can open all pages here and then home page. Where is it right here? Edit with Elementor. And all I'm going to do is just replace the background image here. OK, so we go to style and select another one. So select file. So I have one here already I found online. So open and then select. So that's it. We have our new image and then update. OK, very good. So this is our staging website. So we go back to the home page and refresh. So that's what it looks like. So we've made our changes now. And again, it could be anything. You know, you can make changes to your pages. You could install a new plugin, install new features, test your WooCommerce or settings or whatever it is. Whatever you do, basically just make all those changes. So at the moment, as you can see, we have the test mrweb.fun. And this is our actual website, the live website, mrweb.fun. OK, so once you're happy with your changes, you can then push to live. So now we go back to our hosting page here and now we go back to our main settings. And right here where you have your staging site, if you click on those three dots, you can see you have this function here to publish. So click on this and it's going to ask you for confirmation. Are you sure? So click publish. And now again, this is being processed, so it can take up to 15 minutes. OK, so what I'm going to do is just close this for now and I'll meet you guys again once it's completed. And there you go, guys, you can see it's published now, so fully completed. So this is our staging website and this is our live website. So let's refresh and see what will happen. OK, so let's click on refresh. And there you go, as you can see, now we have the exact same background image as our staging website. So this is basically it. This is how you can create a staging website with Hostinger. OK, so now maybe you'd like to find out how you can build a website for selling bus tickets or coaches. If that's the case, I'll leave that video right here.